hence I love that song that we were singing the other day. I know I can be what I want to be. be. Yeah. <laughs> if I work hard at it, I mean, if, if I really dream hard at it, mm. you know, I can really it's be de- what I want to be. It's definitely possible. You know what I mean? Started from where? Dreaming yeah, big yeah. or yeah. thinking about, about it, it and saying, I want to do this. Mm. I want to achieve that. Mm. I want to do that. And I would really strongly advise out there, you know, you could not be a believer or anything like that. But more importantly as well, if you are a believer, write down your vision, make it plain, mm. pray about it, but also like what you say, yeah. put work towards so it. Because faith exactly. without works is... Well, can we take a bit of your time now? Yeah? Okay, my wife. Um, I'm sure you are aware which this BNL actually stands for Bulilan Right. So the idea is that you have been with us for a while. Today we just wanted to come and say thank you. And I appreciate you supporting what we call our hustle. You know. And it has grown from, we are also students, yeah. literally not too long ago, maybe five, years five ago. six years yeah. ago, not the summer students and we only had dreams. Yeah. But we, as you can see, Sipalu, you are capable. The literal meaning of this is just to say that whatever you're dreaming about yeah. can come true. Yeah. We have seen it happening in our lives, we're seeing it happening and we want to encourage you to say that there are opportunities out there. Mm. There's a foundation available, so you can uh, use those opportunities. So now, obviously, you're going to speak to some of the sponsors there. Literally, <laughs> let them know. <laughs> yes, literally, let them know what you are studying, <laughs> what you want to do, mm. and what you want to achieve in your life. So the floor is yours. <laughs> Who's Zanede? Um, my name is Zanede Kambu. I'm currently studying at UKZN, doing Bachelor in Social Science. I'm majoring in Psychology and Community Development. Sure. So I like the two, I like both of mm. them, but maybe I can, I'd like to open in my practice sure. um, mm-hmm. for, well, psychology, mm-hmm. in the side of psychology. So, yeah, that's just my issue. Oh, that's a beautiful one. Yeah. It's a beautiful one, and as we do say, you are capable. Yeah. You can do it, you can achieve it, if you can see it in your mind, it's doable. Yeah. From one young person to another, yeah. it's definitely yeah. possible. So today we just want to present to you with um, an accommodation voucher, just to say thank you so much, you know, for supporting <laughs> us. <laughs> we really do appreciate the years that you've spent with us, we yeah. really do appreciate Yes, and we're hoping that we'll continue to grow together in the future and we stay connected mm-hmm. and, you know, we just continue to hold each other's hands and move forward, you know, and grow and be successful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We wish you guys the utmost best, you know. Thank you so much. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, all the best with everything. Do you have any experience in terms of BNL that you loved in terms of either transport or other things, maybe this is your chance to just say the things that you love around the BNL. Like any service. Any service that you love. Um, I love that um, whenever we complain, but whenever we have <laughs> <laughs> an issue around the house or any problems, mm. you guys are always there to assist us every sure. time by all means. Sure. So yeah, that's what I love the most. Yeah. Not a problem. And the very last thing, you are aware that we mostly, in the, within the foundation, employ students, right? Mm-hmm. There are opportunities as well when we do finish for that kind of work. Mm-hmm. So all we need for you is to remember to write to us. Mm-hmm. Okay. Thanks and all the best in your studies. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Thank Hope you so helps. much. Thank, Thank you. Have a good evening. <laughs> <laughs>
Yes. Um, maybe you can tell us more about the foundation, the You Are Capable Foundation, before we can actually continue on to today's topic. I actually yeah. thought you were going to say, I must tell them more about myself. <laughs> but anywho. Well, he is an amazing husband. He is an awesome husband that I give it to him. <laughs> Thank you so much. She's also equally not that bad. I'm joking. Wow. <laughs> she is amazing. Wow, wow. <laughs> She's an amazing wife. Mm -hmm. I honor her so much. So, yes, guys, moving forward to obviously the whole foundation mm -hmm. let's remember to really support um, the guys that are being supported through this foundation mm -hmm. guys coming through metric um, mm -hmm. that need bursaries remember to write to us on info at you are capable .com. and also for the guys that also have finished studying whether it's at a technicon or it's at a university please remember to write to us as well for mm -hmm. those that are looking for job opportunities and the disclaimer that we always say we don't provide the jobs yes, yes. but we link you up to the opportunities that are there out, out there in the marketplace and then for those that are also planning and aspiring to start businesses mm -hmm. right because mm -hmm. it's not people all people that are looking for jobs yeah, every yeah, yeah. Day really are advocates for people really working towards starting their own businesses mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's about it from the foundation. Remember to write to info at youarecapable.com. Yeah, babe, what are we talking about today? Today we're talking about something very, very exciting. Well, for me, I love it so much. I'm excited already. <laughs> yeah. We're talking about the importance of dreaming big. Yeah. Uh, the importance of having dreams as an individual. So yeah. I do a lot of that. I daydream a lot <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah, well I call it daydreaming yeah. because you know I literally sit and I envision the future yeah. and I just pan it out however I want it to be yeah um, yeah so I do a lot of that yeah. I actually do daydream yeah so dreams are our visions basically you yes. know it's like having a vision I think it's important mm. to have a vision and mm. dreams form part of that yes um, yes yes I think for me personally that when you are dreaming, mm -hmm. you literally, it's like having a vision board, mm, basically. Mm, mm. Um, and having to write those dreams, those dreams down, down yeah. you know. So I think that's one of the things that's very important for me in terms of dreams. Yeah. Yes, yes. No, I said daydreaming because we're not talking about the dreams that you have in your sleep. <laughs> we're talking about the visions that you have for yeah. yourself. For your future, for the people around you, for your career, or whatever it is in your life that you dream about yeah. and you envision um, happening in your life in the near future or many, many years from now. Yeah. yeah. So that's, those are the visions and dreams that we're referring to, just <laughs> to clarify. Yeah. It's not, your, not the other dreams. No, 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 not those ones yeah. that happen in your sleep. Yeah. yeah. So I think we've touched on, uh, on very important points in terms of we need to remember that when we do dream, we need to write it down. Mm -hmm. um, for us, we base our understanding on scripture. Yes. So obviously, we do know that as a man thinketh. So, so is he. Yeah, yes, so he is. is he, you know. Mm -hmm. So if you're thinking something, usually, mm -hmm. you will become the person that you're thinking you yeah, are. You yeah. know? So also, with reference to scripture as well, mm -hmm. I think it's important to remember that our characters are shaped with that same scripture are shaped yeah. by what we are thinking. We're thinking, yeah, you know? no, that's true. So I think that's a very important thing for us to really mm. um, understand about understand. dreams. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And what do you think about the whole thing of writing down dreams, you know? Um, I think it's very important. First of all, I would say your vision is a promise of what you tomorrow will look like. Sure. You know, if you think good things about yourself, yeah. You know, obviously you are propelled to doing those good things yeah. and um, moving in that direction, yeah. you know, compared to having bad thoughts and yeah. stuff. I mean, there's nothing that, there's no good that can come out of having bad thoughts, yeah. if I can put it that way. So in terms of uh, writing down our visions, I think that's very important. Yeah. First of all, for us not to forget what yeah. we want in life, what we want for ourselves. Mm -hmm. And then there's also the scripture that talks about uh, the fact that we should... Basically write down our vision. Write down our vision. Make them plain. Yes, yes, to, know, the to the Lord. Yes, yeah. yes. So yeah. it's very, very important that yeah. we actually do have a vision. Sure. 
sure. uh, for our lives. And then there's also that, you know, we often pray as Christians and we like, uh, Lord, may your thoughts be my thoughts. Yeah. And, and, and then when we read in the book of Jeremiah, God said to Jeremiah, he has, he has, has good plans, plans for you, for plans to prosper oh, you, plans go. to give there you a hope go. and a yeah. future. Yes. Yeah. So, I mean, if those are God's thoughts about us, yeah. we need to know those thoughts because we've said, Lord, can mm, our thoughts, yeah. can our thoughts, can my thoughts be your thoughts? Sure. So I think it's very important that we ask God, Lord, um, help me dream big. Help me, Lord, see the thoughts that you have about me yeah. um, so that we get to understand yeah. You know, um, in terms of the direction that we want to go or the direction that we are meant to yeah. go in life. Yeah. So writing those visions down is very important for me because you get to remember for yourself. Yeah. And um, it's something that you can also look at, remind yeah. yourself on a daily basis and work towards it. Yeah, I think it's very, for me, obviously we're using reference of scripture, but even if we take it to how corporates are run, mm. you know, People write down their vision. Exactly. You know, a very successful company mm. really does not have a vision. What, what do you call it? Some of some of us call it the KPI. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or what? What are the other corporate terms? <laughs> some call it a motto. Some yes, even exactly. refer to it as a motto. Some refer it to as a vision. They call it a exactly, vision. Exactly, a company's you know vision I mean? and mission. A mission you know, statement. Exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. So. so. Most successful companies mm. have that in them, mm. but the, and most of those that are very successful very, yeah. and see things happen according to that to vision. That, yeah. so that's very important for me. What strikes me the most is that a company's vision usually shapes the way the company runs. Have you noticed? Exactly, exactly. You know what I mean? Because now you learn to work according to your vision, and yeah. if, 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 if ever there's anything that derails you, yeah. you know you know that there's a vision, yeah. and this is the aim of the company. This, yeah. this is where the company wants to go. You know, yeah. something that comes yeah. no, it's, it's, together, you know, following a vision. And basically, if you think about it, mm -hmm. the way companies are run is the way literally we should be running our lives in essence. If you think about it, you set a vision for a mm -hmm. company, right, before it's formed, yeah. right? Hence, we're talking about, I knew you before you were formed in your mother's womb. Mm -hmm. You know, for me, that scripture speaks volumes. But yeah. Before it was null and void, God already had plans, had plans, thoughts, had exactly. vision, had a vision about where we're going. Mm. So I feel like even when a, before a company is formed, mm. there needs to be a vision. So for us as well, mm -hmm. with what we are talking about today, dreaming big, mm. I believe it's important to have a vision, mm. you know, to have a vision board. Mm. And I've, I've seen with you, babe, as well, you've got a vision board at home. Yes, I do. And <laughs> tell us a bit more, obviously, about that, you know. What is it that you were planning to achieve, obviously, from a vision board when you wrote it down, you know? Well, I'm not going to lay out what's exactly <laughs> on my vision board, yeah. but it is there. Um, it is more of me putting it down and um, there's also the verse that says, submit all your ways um, to the Lord. Yeah. And then it talks about the fact that if you build and God is not there, we build in vain. Sure. Yeah. You know, so I put that down just for me to have an understanding, pray about it, all of those things that I want, mm -hmm. and also work on it. Yeah. Because, you know, dreamers are doers. Yeah. You know, if I'm just yeah. going to dream and have something beautiful up on my wall sure. and not work towards it, I yeah. mean, it's a waste of time. Actually, let's talk about that, the whole idea of the dreamers about dreamers being doers, mm. you know. We need to put action to our dreams. Exactly. You know, exactly. I think it's quite a very, it's it's a very important thing. You yeah. Know? In terms uh, it's a very important thing. Yes. From, from where I stand, I always look at it and think of it in such a way that, you know, when we're sleeping, we dream, right? Mm, mm. But the actual people that really manage to succeed at their dreams are the people that wake up and chase their and dreams. And chase their dreams, You yes. know what I mean? The, the people that really stay in the state of dreaming will keep, keep dreaming. Mm. So for me, in my life, it's it's always resonated that if we have a vision mm. or if you've dreamt about something, mm. you must put action, action towards it. it. Yeah, exactly. You know, because I think within the Christian fraternity as well, mm. there is this idea or this phenomenon that we, as long as I have heard from the Lord. And or you've prayed about, prayed about it. About you know, it. you can write your things up on the wall, pray about them, and yeah. then 
just expect God to manifest sure. whatever. Sure. But it's very important, as the Word of God says, that faith without works sure. is dead. That's the one. So yeah, it's very important that yeah. as much as we dream mm. about it and we have it up on our walls sure. or wherever, but we also act on it yeah. um, and work diligently towards achieving our dreams. Yeah. Um, one thing that I'll ask you, yeah. um, in terms of um, what do I call the power yeah. of having dreams? Mm -hmm. I mean, in your life, have you seen that uh, manifestation? I mean, from your dreams yeah. um, coming into reality, just yeah. um, same thing as uh, the fact that, you know, what this power yeah. there's life and death in, in, the, in, in the power of the tongue, of the tongue yeah. is yeah. so i mean with your mind do you think yeah. it has the same connotation to it no definitely um i'd say for me in mm -hmm. any case a lot of the things and you've been there mm. seeing them come true as well and equally for you as well yeah i think it's very important to when we speak about dreaming big mm. all these things that we dream about mm. some and even most of them i've seen them come true mm. and obviously i think the idea of what you say that's why i said sure when you say faith without works is dead mm. i feel like it's important when we dream to actually put action to mm. our dreams mm. writing down our dreams is very important mm. but also action to action, the dreams yes. then an expected result will come mm. you know i think it's very rare to to dream positive thoughts mm -hmm. or have an outlook towards positive stuff or positive mm -hmm. thoughts and get negative results. Mm -hmm. I think really you will get a positive result. Mm -hmm. um, if you set your mind, for me, mm -hmm. I've mm -hmm. seen it happening a lot of times. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't have to be, you know, when we're speaking about success, it doesn't have to be a money thing. I think it's a vision for our lives for certain, yeah. for a lot of other things. You know I, what I, mean? I think as well, success goes with uh, gratitude, sure. you know, because for someone else, um, for example, if I drive a really small vehicle, sure. I might not find myself successful. Yeah. I can only say I'll only be successful when I'm driving a Ferrari, yeah. you know, so I think it as well it goes with being grateful sure. uh, for what you've achieved yeah. at the same time. So yeah, I wanted to go back to, to your point of the fact that it's important for us to dream good dreams about ourselves. Sure. I've also seen people that have, I would say, no vision yeah. and they don't think good things about themselves. Sure. So I'll just uh, elaborate a little bit about the place where I grew up. Sure. So um, it was, I wouldn't say, I don't like saying that I was poor yeah. or <laughs> previously disadvantaged. But I mean, at that time, there weren't a lot of opportunities when it comes to tertiary education. Sure. So a lot of people that I grew up with, um, they just didn't even get to matric level. Sure. Grade 10, they're done. Yeah. Because they feel like, they would actually say this, what's the point? I can yeah. study up until matric, but I will not have money for university. Sure. And I think at the time, and it's first was still there, but I think it was a loan at the time. So yeah. you had to repay, and it wasn't as, um, uh, I don't know, popular or yeah. as it is Trendy right now. Exactly. Is now. Yeah. And then there were also loans. So yeah. I saw a lot of young people we actually never even um, had the drive to finish high school. Sure. Because for me, I'd say they didn't have a vision. Yeah. They didn't think good things about themselves. Sure. It was more of, look at my current situation. Yeah. There's no yeah. way I'll ever get out of this situation, yeah. you know. Um, of which I tried, you know, to go back once I had finished my matric and I got myself, I got a, or got through, I got a bursary. Sure. And I'm like, guys, it's possible, you know. Yeah. I don't just give up at grade 10, you yeah, know? Yeah. So it's very, very important that we have good thoughts and we think beautiful things about ourselves, yeah. despite our current situation. For sure. You know, yeah. you can be from... For me, I always say your background means nothing. Sure. It means absolutely nothing. nothing. In terms yes. of where you're going. Exactly. It's, it's actually, what you've just said, you hit the nail on the head, mm. basically, that a lot of... When I say successful, we're not just talking money. We're mm. talking successful spiritually. Exactly. And also here, yeah, because your success there. starts here. Yeah. Yeah. You know, there's you know a I mean? quote... Sorry to, to, to no, interrupt no, no you. There's a quote when I was growing up. I remember in high school, I was yeah. studying so hard and then one of our teachers used to tell us if you see it in your mind yeah. you can leave it yeah. and i think i've always taken that with me yeah and i used to tell myself if i can see this in my 
sure. and I will definitely attain it. For sure. Exactly. Yeah. I know it, it was. So <laughs> that was, that was a, a huge drive for me. And, you know, sometimes you used to say it jokingly. You know, if you see it in your mind, you can achieve it. But sure. then you start, you see it starting to manifest in for your sure. life. Yeah. For sure. Which is quite interesting. It, it's, it's amazing. It's an amazing phenomenon mm. that... I feel like for us, because obviously we're basing everything in terms of what we believe in, which is God and mm. who we believe in, God has given us the mind, such a powerful tool, mm. and the mind can draw up a lot of pictures in the future, exactly. but you have to draw them up now, mm. you know, um, hence I love that song that we were singing the other day, I know I can be what I want to be, <laughs> you know, if I work hard at it. <laughs> For me, if, it's, if, if I really dream hard at it, mm. you know, I can really it's be what I want It's definitely possible. You know what I mean? So for me, definitely. And just to share a bit of my experience mm. as well. And the idea is that it's not coming from a disadvantaged point of view mm. only. You can also look at, for, for some of us, we grew up in schools that we were spoiled, basically, yeah. put it like that way. Mm. But I also want to put it in terms of, you know, when you're studying, mm. you know what I mean? When you're working towards something, when you're working towards a project, mm. if your mindset is based on that, I'm going to win, mm. I'm going to do well at exactly. this. Exactly. It's very rare that mm. you fail because the state of your mind, mm. irregardless of what is happening around mm. you, mm. has already told itself that I'm going to win. what's going to happen. You know what I mean? Exactly. So the, the mindset or the state of our mind, mm. I think is a very it's important very, thing. It's very, very important. Yeah. It sets you up for success or destruction. Yeah. And that is solely up to you. Yeah. You know, um, if you, I can just make an example. Have you ever seen when you want to shop for something? Sure. Let's say you are looking for a certain phone, for yeah. example. You go around seeing people that are carrying that phone. Sure. Because your mind now is wired towards, I want this phone. Yeah. So it's the same thing with everything else. If you're looking for an opportunity, yeah. you walk around seeing opportunities sure. everywhere else. If you're looking for negativity, you'll find you'll negativity. Find neg exactly. You, everything will be negative. <laughs> you know what I mean? This guy is drinking this negative thoughts. That's this guy is doing this exactly. the negative side of you things. Know, you know you, what I mean? You, you tend to direct your thoughts toward what, towards whatever. Yeah. You know, if it's negative, then that's all you see. I mean, people hate you everywhere you go. Everyone for sure about you because yeah. that is what your mind is set on so yeah, yeah guys it's important for us to dream big yeah it's very i think important. it's very important it's for very us to, to really to dream, dream big, big. Uh, it's an important thing and what's what's your thought around this idea of if you're dreaming mm -hmm. the kind of circle of friends and the kind of places you travel to because i think that also has got quite a huge it's impact exactly in terms of how it influences how we dream. Mm, mm. What, what's your thought around that? All right, I'll just share a little bit in terms, as I said, that I I can I come from a a very I don't want to say I don't like the word poor at all. Like no 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 no. <laughs> well, it's good dream. Um, exactly. No, place. I wasn't. For me, I don't consider myself poor. Sure. I had food. I had love. For so sure. I mean. What but someone more, can look what at that. More, exactly. What you know more what does mean? a child want? For, For me, sure. I don't find myself previously disadvantaged. My mom loved me. She mm -hmm. fed me. I mean, what more did I want in life? You might have not driven a Maserati. Exactly. But exactly. Our house might have not been the most expensive, sure. but there's no way. Oh, at any time where I felt like, oh my gosh, I'm so poor. For sure. You know, but I was lucky enough to have that teacher. Yeah. Who was saying to us. If you can see it in your mind, sure. you can leave it. Sure. So I'd say for me, that was the influence of the people around me. Yeah. Despite my community and yeah. its struggles, as I said, the people that I was growing up with, they never saw the vision. They yeah. never saw the future. For, for them, this was it. Sure. It was the end of life yeah. because, you know, their families didn't have a lot of money. Yeah. So it's very important that we surround ourselves with the right people. For sure. Yes. So for me, I've always thought beautiful things about myself. Yeah. I don't know whether it's a gift from God, you know, yeah. you know, for me, I always say, and what I said was, um, you know, that your past really doesn't matter, guys. My school fees was 40 rand. Yeah. I think for sure, I was, I was asking that definitely as a rhetorical question mm. as well, because I honestly believe, as we were chatting, that, that mm. we need to really understand that the people that really surround us, mm. it's they shape and influence the way we dream. Very much so. So, for an example, if I spend so much time with people that speak about bad things, mm. you end up inevitably dreaming about bad things. Mm. Mm. If you surround yourself around people 
honestly, that are always talking about the next big house, the next big car, the next big this, the next big promotion, starting a business. Mm. Weirdly enough, you will find yourself it Googling mm. how to start a business. Mm. So I think it's important who we associate yes, with. Exactly. Because who we associate with mm. in eternally kind of yeah, even in the bible it does think. say that bad friends they ruin good behavior yeah yeah, yeah. so it's it's very important that we you know and then um when okay fine we grow up we dream and dream and dream sure but was there ever a point where you realize that oh snap dreams actually do come true in your life or well, have you reached that point or have you come to understand that or you have you seen that manifestation in your life so far yeah no definitely i i have and it's a compilation of what we've been speaking about mm -hmm. um we, we, with with all humility, I realize that indeed dreams do come true. Mm. If you are writing down, like we've said, if you're writing it down on a vision board, mm. sometimes I was doing it without even realizing. realizing yeah. you know, it's similar to when a new year starts. I would well, write I down. Call, I call that the wisdom of God. <laughs> it's true, and the mm. guidance. Well, we spoke about association. Mm. I know we're speaking about it. Association in layman's terms to mm. say associate with the right friends, but guys, mm. associate with. God as well. God. Because if you associate with him, mm. like the Bible says, his thoughts are higher than our thoughts. Mm. So I always feel like if he's got already thoughts about us, even the scripture that you quoted about mm. Jeremiah 29, you know, mm. he has plans for us. So it's better to associate with someone. So, but yeah. anyway, that's our opinion as believers, mm. right? Mm. So our association with friends and my association for me with God, mm. he kind of reveals obviously the plans to you, but mm. also you have an understanding of what the thoughts and the plans and the uh, vision yeah. boards and what you're writing so i was coming back to the point that every year i would write you know at the mm. beginning of the year just, this is what i want to accomplish and i still do that mm. you know to date mm. and weirdly enough when mm. the year comes to an end mm. i would have scratched out mm. most of those things mm. if not all of them off the list mm. but it all started from where dreaming of, big yeah, or yeah. thinking about, about it, it and saying I want to do this mm. I want to achieve that mm. I want to do that and I would really strongly advise out there you know you could not be a believer or anything like that but more importantly as well if you are a believer write down mm. your vision make it plain mm. pray about it but also like what you say, yeah. put work towards so it because exactly faith without works is dead. dead. Yeah. So I feel like if we put work towards it, and I think it's such an important thing amongst us as young mm. people to encourage each other mm. that where there's faith, mm. it's going to be coupled with actions that really support mm. this faith, yeah. you know? Yeah. So yeah, without, you know, continuing to, I'll end up preaching, that's the problem <laughs> with, with me. But anyway, that's that's the thing and the idea about mm. dreams for me, I've yeah. seen them come true. Come true. Exactly. Because of what we really have mm. been speaking about today mm. and the association with God, yeah. Yeah, I think I can share a little bit of um, my moment when yeah. I had an awakening, you know. <laughs> um, for me, these have been the two, it's actually two major discoveries that I've, I've discovered in my life. Yeah. The power of my thoughts, yeah. very, very powerful. Yeah. And unity. Sure. But unity is a topic for another day, sure. you know. So, as I said, I'm a dreamer. Yeah. Like, I literally sit and I plan. Like, I can sit and plan my next year, Yeah. you know. So, 2018... What happened in 2018 was I was coming from work um, and then I just had a very huge realization. I'm like, oh my gosh, dreams really do come true. Yeah. You know, I was like, I've finished the degree of which that was a dream of mine. Sure. I have uh, gotten the job, mm -hmm. which was a dream of mine. And I had gotten the car, which was a dream of mine. And you'd gotten married to me, which was a <laughs> dream was, of yours. That was before we got married, <laughs> or maybe during the process. But one thing that I will say uh, was actually a realization was the fact that, guys, I envisioned the day I got my sure. car. Sure. I envisioned the day I would go to church yeah. and they would lay hands on my car and it happened exactly sure. as I thought it would happen. Sure. So that's when I was like, oh, snap, the power of the mind. It's important. It's amazing. Yeah. It is amazing. <laughs> so from that point, you know, I was just like, wow. Mm. You know, and obviously from my background, it wasn't the most amazing. 
Yeah. But then one thing that I realized, I was like, oh my gosh, God, dreams do come true. And sure. then I asked God, I'm like, Lord, help me dream bigger. Yeah, yeah. I think that's and God did not fail me. I did ask him yeah. because my mind was limited to that point. I mean, my childhood dreams had I'm become a reality. Yeah. And now the question was, now what? Yeah. You know, um, someone once said that a lot of people stop living at 30, yeah. but they die at, at 80. 80. Yeah. I mean, because your life becomes a cycle. Yeah. I mean, if you've achieved that job, you've gotten that car, sure. you've gotten that, that ring, you've gotten those children. Yeah. And then what next? What next? Yeah. So it's important that we ask God, Lord, help yeah. me dream bigger. Yeah. Up to the point that I was like, okay, God, I've got all of these things. Yeah. Now I need to find what my talent is. Sure. Show me what my talent is. Sure. Mm. Sure. And if you think about it, and you've touched on a very important thing now in terms of when we reach a point where we are comfortable. Mm. And the whole point of us talking about dreaming big as well today is that we should dream for bigger things, for bigger things than yes. what we were including, including living in our purpose yeah. and the things that God... Because, I mean, for us... Sorry, babe. No, that's fine. I mean, for us as black kids, guys, we honestly do study just to make money. Yeah. You know, that is the motivation because our families need us. Yeah. You know, so you're not really walking in your purpose yeah. at that time. So yeah. it's important... When you have, or during that process of finding your stability, sure. but just just to ask God, okay, Lord, what are the plans that you that actually you have, have for me? For me? Yeah. yeah, no, it's very important. And and as like I was saying, and adding on to what you're saying, the the importance of making sure that we don't get complacent. Mm. Um, Yo, for we, me, that was my biggest fear. I'm we like, don't get complacent because mm. we get to a point where I feel like even as human beings, we've and it's a dangerous place to reach mm. where you feel like you've reached it. Mm. You know. And that's like what we're speaking about is shaped by the people that were around us, mm -hmm. where you feel like getting a house, like you say, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of people's dreams is I'll, I'll get a house, I'll get a, 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 a nanny, I'll get this, I'll get that, mm -hmm. I'll get that. And then you pay the bond pay for the, the bond, rest of your life, and pay that's school it. fees, and then... And that's it. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing wrong with being content, mm -hmm. but there's a difference between being content and not living out to your fullest purpose. Exactly. You know, because you're exactly. failing to dream bigger. Big, yeah. Hence, I'm saying you really need to associate with God because he already knows what mm. you're supposed to be. Mm. So at times it can be very dangerous to then think this is where it, it ends. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. This is all it is. And at times it can actually be quite selfish as well mm. because your dreams usually mm. might involve people. Yeah, you no, know that's what I mean? true. That's so true. I think it's very important. Also, there's another scripture as well, mm. and I love referencing to scripture, but there's another scripture that we love a lot that mm. speaks about, obviously, when you're dreaming, mm -hmm. he, in, in terms of us understanding when we're dreaming, right, mm. that he will, God is able to do exceedingly abundantly and above what we can think mm. or imagine. Or imagine but yeah. remember, we have to think mm. and imagine. Mm. Then God so does exceedingly. So small, and yeah. then God will do exceedingly and abundantly more than what my small brain is thinking. For sure. <laughs> you know? For sure. And that's true. And yeah. I know it sounds controversial when you say my small brain, mm. but the truth of the matter is that mm. you have, if we've categorized yourself to say, or limiting. I've heard mm. people say limiting God. Mm. I feel like it comes from this whole idea of dreaming. Mm. We've got to dream big. Okay. Hence, we even use the word big. big yeah, because exactly. remember when we visited, you remember the other time where we visited one of our nieces and all that, and, mm -hmm. and nephews. and Or oh, they came to visit us. Yeah, mm -hmm. that whole story of us taking them to Mercedes. Mm. You know what I mean? Took to them say, there because... You know, as I said, for me, I came from a different background. So all I saw, the most amazing car was probably was a Tez sure. or a Conquest. Not that there's anything wrong with a Tez. Yes, yes. But, but I mean, there is more out there, sure. of which for me, my brain was this small mm -hmm. in terms of what I had seen. Because I feel like also our dreams are influenced by the things that, that we, we see, see. on sure. a daily basis. Sure. It's very hard for me to dream about a woman who's independent sure. when I've always seen, seen women who are... You know, so dependent sure. on this and that. Yeah. So I think as all well, our dreams are influenced by our surrounding our surroundings and the thing that's and the things that we see. we see. Importantly, as well to that, we love traveling a mm -hmm. lot. Mm -hmm. 
Have you realized how much seeing other parts of the world, seeing mm. how other cultures do no, things? It opens your it mind opens up. Your Even mind. just interacting with different people. For me, I realized that yeah. when I stepped away from home and went to university, yeah. talking to different people was just like, oh, sure. wow, I'm it's, learning a it's lot. An yeah. There's so many things that I've learned uh, yeah. that I didn't learn at home. But yeah. I mean, just hanging around with different people, going to different places, different yeah. cultures, different experiences. Sure. You know, it really does open your mind up. Mm. And to dream bigger. Mm. You know what I mean? I remember there was a time when we were, I can't remember, was that Bali, right? Where those guys were knitting. And, oh, yes, and, yes, And yes. they were doing this whole thing. And, and we were like, mm. you know, there's a lot of talent in Africa of people that can actually do we this. Do these things. But the unfortunate part is because if we haven't seen it happening, mm. then no one's going to do it. No, exactly. So we need examples, mm. which is what I think is very important. But in terms of dreaming big, mm. it's important to have examples that, yeah. around us. So just, just to wrap up, babe, I think it is important for us to make sure that when we dream big, Mm. we understand that we need to action our dreams exactly. which is very important in terms mm -hmm. of actioning mm -hmm. because you know dreamers are doers mm. and we need to wake up and chase our dreams mm. we can't keep sleeping exactly, in terms of the yeah. dreams but I think for me most importantly other than just actioning the dreams mm. it's more important to associate with the right people, people yeah you know? exactly so that's my take for me for and, from today yeah. yeah to add on what, what you've said and be friends with God as you kept on you know um, repeating that, sure. that you need to be sure. friends with God because I feel like he is the one who gives you all of this wisdom and the ability For to sure. actually dream big. For me, I'll just, I remember when I was a child, as I said, I wasn't exposed to much, but I just knew that, Lord, my life cannot be the fact that I'm going to have the same cycle every, every day, day yeah. go to work, come home, eat yeah. supper, sleep, wake up. Sure. And I was a child and I didn't even know much. I remember I used to say, oh my gosh, at least maybe if I could go to a charity in yeah. the evening. I mean, just to have something different, different yeah. in my life. I used to even think, okay, if I do my engineering degree and yeah. then when I retire, I'll be a teacher. You know, I can still do something else. Yeah, <laughs> at some point, mix. I thought I would play guitar and <laughs> play music. But I think as well, that a lot of that came mm. from God. For sure. You know, it wasn't really uh, me you know, yeah. being smart or anything. For yeah. sure, yeah. So, yeah, guys, please do remember to, f for the foundation, mm -hmm. let's remember to support uh, using this email address, write to us, info at yourcapable.com. Mm, yes. Let's also remember to assist each other and empower each other. Mm -hmm. For the sponsors, you can also write to the same email, info at yourcapable.com. Mm -hmm. Remember also for the guys that have finished studying that there is an opportunity for you as well to write to us if you're looking for job opportunities. We made the disclaimer, we don't provide the jobs, but but yeah. we'll link you up to these opportunities and work opportunities. And the other major thing is for those that really want to start businesses, and I, I call those my big dreamers as well. <laughs> I'm being biased anyway, because even if you... Let's dream, you know let's I mean? dream, let's dream. But you're starting businesses, you want to start even your own things mm. later on, you know what I mean? Let's write to us, let's have an idea of what you really want to do, mm. yeah, in terms of that. And that's a wrap in terms of yep. what we want Dreamers to do. are doers. Let's yeah. always remember that, you know. Yeah. Let's dream. And let's work hard, you yeah, know. Yeah. I know nowadays we say let's work smart, but I yeah. also believe in working hard and praying to God, Lord, you know, may I see the fruit of my labor. Sure. I feel like that's very, very important because there's nothing worse as well than working so hard. Yeah. But you just can't see, see the fruits of the exactly, labor. Sure, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for joining us. We really, really, really we appreciate really your presence. Yeah. And always remember that you, you are, are capable. capable. <laughs>